In this video, we pick up where we left off to implement the finding of the pickup car. So now that we have the car service returning a car with its position, time to arrival, and path to our pickup location, I have everything we need to implement each of these commented steps. So let's start by adding the car marker for our pickup car. So the method will take our current position and create a new sliding marker which we'll store as an instance variable in our pickup car component. And just as we did before for the available cars component, we'll initialize this with the map instance the position and the car icon image. I'll set the duration for the animation updates to one second and again use the linear easing function. And I'll add the import in for sliding marker for this component. Now let's move on to showing the directions path on our map. So this time I'll pass the car path to the show directions method. And I'll create an instance variable of a Google Maps polyline so that we can update this when we receive updates for our pickup car. So we're going to create a new polyline and use the path from the car service and we'll give it a stroke color of red that matches the color of our pickup car and a weight of about three. And now we just need to tell it to use this map to draw itself on. And also need to remove these brackets because that's not part of the syntax when we use the require import. And now we can test how this looks in the app. So we see our red polyline that shows our path and our pickup car marker. Now we just need to update the car marker and the path so that it follows the path to our pickup location. And we've already created this update method in our simulate service. So we just need to add it to our car service. So as you may recall, this is going to return an observable with the car's position, time to arrival, and path. So we just need to update the position of our car marker and update the path of our polyline. And then continuing to call updates until we've reached the end of our path or route. So we'll do this by calling update on ourself every second, which is the same duration as our sliding marker. So that looks good and we can see our updates, but there's a bug with our pickup marker. So when is pickup is requested, you shouldn't be able to interact with that pickup marker. So we're going to add in an input to our pickup marker and if it's true, or rather if it's not true, then and only then will you be able to make changes to the pickup pin. So now if we move around the map, no changes are taking place because his pickup request is true. So now all that's left is the ability to cancel our pickup car and remove our car marker and the polyline path from the map. So to remove the car, we'll just check if the car marker has been defined. And if so, we'll set the map to null. And we'll set the car marker to null as well. And we'll do the same thing for the polyline directions.
And this is the final result of our pickup car component. It's looking pretty good, but there's another little bug. So to fix that, we'll go back to our pickup component. And when we show the pickup marker, we'll remove it if it's already been added.